looking at it going, oh, I'm not an art aficionado. I said, but that doesn't look too traditional to me because it's painted on um, chipboard. I thought, oh, and don't worry, Aboriginal art gets painted on some funny things. We've had it on car bonnets, we've had it on, on all various materials. But this wasn't, this wasn't signed by, by anybody, but it was given a little tag in there by an Aboriginal artist, and I'd never seen the name before, so when I go back, I'm gonna, gonna have a bit of a look at it. But to sort of answer your question now is that Aboriginal art still plays a significant role in who we are as a culture, but what we're finding is a lot of our young ones now are taking up what I do, like photography, Mo modern media, you know, the video camera, a lot of them are using online blogs to really progress our art. So did that answer your question enough? Yes, mate. Thank you so much for coming and talking with us because um, there are many among us who are Aboriginal peoples <laughs> in the sense of indigeneity. Um, I wanted to ask you a question about identity and the apology. White Australian identity and Aboriginal Australian identity. How the apology shifted worldviews and shifted paradigms because I know that the uh, thinking that led up to the policies like the Stolen Generation policies was thinking that white Australia knew exactly what it needed to do. It was right. This was the right thing to do for these children of mixed blood, for instance. And it was a right thing to do to wash out the Aboriginal culture because it was not a good culture. It was a dirty culture. All of these, this kind of um, negative stereotyping and part of the result of the stolen generation policies was to um, plant this prejudice in the minds of the stolen generation. So they grew up, many of them, thinking that uh, Aboriginal was bad and white was good, and that even went back to those who, who were still, you know, those who were white, but even those who were still dark-skinned felt that way. So would you comment just a bit on how words brief words that um, the Prime Minister spoke, even words like this could shift worlds of identity. Yeah, so I, I probably should have opened with all that about what the stolen generations, what the apology was, was, was meant to achieve. I'll speak on my, my, behalf, my behalf, my own personal beliefs on this, is that I grew up in an amazing family in Tasmania. I had identity issues when I was, I was little. But I grew up in an amazing family. I had a fantastic childhood. I was never stolen. I was never taken away. So I never understood it until I grew older. And my cultural identity is being, is, is growing up in this community at the moment, is trying to understand who I am and where I am. But a lot of this mob that were stolen, there's a, there's a unique DVD or movie out called um, Rabbit Proof Fence. Anyone seen it? Good. Rabbit Proof Fence was, um, it was an amazing story where we, we had three young girls that basically were stolen. They were taken down to a, a, um, an area in Western Australia and their journey to go back from that place where they were put into this, like a, a Catholic orphanage, I think it was, a trek all the way home, get back home, get back to their country, because it was, you're right, it, it was, it was you know, being Aboriginal was dirty. It was... <laughs> And I, I still don't quite get it because when I grew up, my teacher said to me, Truganini, Truganini was the last Tasmanian Aboriginal, full blood Aboriginal to, to be alive. Most of what happened is we killed, killed them all off. I said, well, hang on, myself and this other family here within our community, we're both Aboriginal. No, you are not. These are all dead. There's none left. Basically, back then, what we did is we got this island. So you imagine, I don't know, Tass Tassie's quite big. We put a line of troopers right down the middle, and they all walked from there right down to the bottom and shot a lot of them. A is Tasmania is like, well, you're up, your, up in your mountains and hills here, we have you know, undergrowth there that you can't get through with a, with a tractor. So that was a major fallacy, but we didn't understand that. And the trouble is, they're still teaching that to this day. 